guys what's going on my name is Cody the guy you see on screen is Eli and today we will be going over why fake money does not work in both vending machines and claw machines including an awesome collaboration with Tony the arcade dad and his family all right guys let's go ahead and get right into it uh, first and foremost guys do not try this as there is literally no point we've literally never found a single fake dollar in our bill validators and we'll go over why a little bit in this video we're not promoting this in any way but rather going over how it works and why it will not work we have tony working for us today starting out by wiping down the machines and as you can see he is doing a fantastic job as you can see this is a smb route 66 crane this is uh uh, this is a grocery store that we're in right now. You can see all the uh, grocery carts just on the sides of us to the left and right. And uh, this machine gets played quite a bit, so they're going to be uh, quite grubby, little hand fingerprints everywhere. So it's always good to get in there with a bottle of Windex and make that glass nice and shiny clean. And uh, we'll finish up wiping that down and Tony will go ahead and fill up the machine how he sees fit. We were really interested to see how somebody that doesn't operate cranes would go in and start filling up the machine. So Eli is opening up for him and let's see how he does. And first we're going to throw all that uh, prop money which we will be using in just a short while. This is a 30 day collection. Tony will pick out all the plush that he wants inside of the machine and guys if you haven't already go and check them out they make really good entertaining videos uh, just a good guy we hung out and uh, it was really nice meeting him and he's just a really cool dude so be sure to swing by his YouTube channel hit that subscribe button and uh, check out his videos because they're really top-notch they're really great but uh, we will go ahead now and check out how full and nice the machine is looking. It is really came together since we uh, showed up here. And we will open it up and see how much we have inside. Tony will put the key into the coin box. And look at that. Looking pretty sweet, guys. Uh, quite a bit of quarters here. We're looking at $88 in quarters and one penny so very very nice uh and very handy too it was really really easy with three of us there somebody to open the the bag and dump the quarters and guys look at the dollar bill acceptor absolutely insane that's 136 dollars in bills for a total of 224 dollars absolutely insane we love it there's the 88 dollars very very nice all right, we'll shut the door here and let's experiment a little bit with this prop money and see how it pans out, guys. So look at the coin mag, check everything, and we'll go ahead and get started. Here we go. What's going on, guys? Tony the Arcade Dad here. It echoes in here a lot. <laughs> we're here with Quick Play, which is awesome, and we're going to be doing something special for you guys. We're actually with the vendors, and we're going to answer a very, very frequently asked question is, can you use movie money? Now, this is like legit movie money from the show Ozarks, and we're going to see if we can use these in claw machines. So this is going to be really cool. We have real money and we have fake money. I can't get this mixed up. And we're going to see if it works and if it doesn't. And if it doesn't work, we're going to consult the experts and find out yeah. why. So uh, we're at about 66. Let's just see. We're going to we got to make sure the dollar bill acceptor actually works first, which, of course, we know these guys do. There you go. There it is. Okay, so he stuck a real dollar bill into the machine. And just to make sure everything's on the up and up, everything's working correctly, 
He's got a game going on. It's working fine. But let's go ahead and check out the fake prop money and see how that does. So what I have now is I have a brand new um, movie money dollar and then one that's kind of beat up a little bit. It's trying to trick the machine a little bit. I'm trying to go all out for you guys. So here we go. Give me this plate. It is not. All right, big dollar. I <laughs> didn't want to feed it that time. <laughs> Looking like it could work, but it never will. <laughs> <laughs> So guys, in regards to using any fake money in vending or claw machines, it's just not going to work and here's why. Each bill validator has a magnetic head that is able to read the magnetic ink on a real dollar bill. It's very precise and fake replica money contains no magnetic ink whatsoever, thus instantly and always failing the validation test. And guys, w wait, something's happening, uh, w wait. Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Eli. And today, as you can see, Cody and I were finally able to swap roles with him being on screen and me filming while we go to our Walmart location to see how it's done in the past two weeks since our last service. And she is looking pretty low on candy as always. Cody's going to bring out some disinfectant wipes here. Wipe it down, make it look real nice and clean. Got a loose skittle in there. Make that base look real nice. And guys, real quick, for anyone considering switching to Nerd Gumballs or any other kind of specialty gumball, as opposed to the traditional double bubble you would see at Sam's Club, I highly recommend you do so. Locations like this and other spots where we used to have double bubble have increased our sales by up to 10 times since switching to Nerd Gumball. So... Please don't hesitate, pay the extra money for the premium gumball and your sales will go up. I guarantee it. But anyways, we have Tony here filling up this machine with Skittles and peanut M&Ms. Make it real nice and full. We definitely need to get some more nerd gumballs in there soon. Uh, we're going to lock her up and let Tony open the back and see how much money we have today. And boom looking fat as always spread his hand through that money and you are looking at 42 dollars flat for two weeks guys so that is on track for our average of 80 to 100 dollars a month for this spot and i mean what more could you ask for really i mean you have 10 spots like this doing 80 to 100 a month you're going to be looking at nearly a thousand dollars a month gross just 10 bulk machines and believe it or not guys we do have at least five spots now that do over 80 dollars a month out of our 53 candy machines so that's really good we're doing really well with our bulk i highly recommend you guys get into bulk machines if you haven't already it's great passive income and just look at all those quarters we don't typically look through all the quarters to check for silver but you definitely can to make even more money Tony's gonna give it the classic tilt looking great had a blast hanging out with him great meeting him and his family and guys if you remember this location with our coin pusher a seafood restaurant we did actually lose this location the business shut down just recently so we had to pull out our claw machine, our coin pusher, arcade game, but that's all right, guys. It does happen in this business, and within two days, we landed another bulk spot at a Lee's Chicken, and we put our first crane at a new winery location, so things are still looking up, looking real promising. Love it. But guys, thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you got some useful information with Cody going over why fake money won't work and bill validators we really hope to see you guys this sunday in our next live stream you guys are the best thank you so much for watching goodbye